since I'm so close, I thought I would share with you some of my babies that I've made. So this is my little bucket that I was talking about uh, last week. Uh, the projects I have made that I have not given away yet. So first we have a little purple and gray. Hi, Bubs. There you are. Purple and gray bee. Do you want to try the new treats? Come here. Elsa likes them. All right, come on. Hey, just give me a minute. I'm not tricking you. There. See if you like them. That's good. Oh, yeah, he likes them. Okay, so the B, then this is, I should have my phone, I can't remember what her name is, but this was from um, one of the new Instagram, and I was talking about how I got on Instagram and all the free patterns. So this was a crochet along. You, What you did was, well, the designer posted part of the pattern. Look, she's got little elf ears. She's like a, a, a water nymph. So the designer posts um, the first part of the project, and then once you finish that part in the three days that you have, um, then you message the designer, and you show the designer what you've done, and then they send you the rest of the pattern. So I used my Retro Stripes, which you'll see, I think, it's one of my favorite colorways, um, is a self-changing, so this is one of the colors, there's a pink, and then these colors... So I decided to make her look like that. Of course, the original designers is much better because she did a lot more of the color work in the legs and I was just kind of getting confused. So that was all I did with her. And then next in that same crochet along was the little duck. And I had to make him look like a mallard because why not? So that is him. And I actually didn't get him posted in time, so I had to make up his feet, his beak, and his wings, because that was the part two. So I didn't get him done in time to get her original. So he looks a little bit different from hers, because I had to just make it up as I went. And I've never done a duck bill, or duck feet, or duck wings before. Next is this awesome guy. Isn't he funny? It's a beaver. Look at that perfect beaver tail. I mean, come on. There is no doubt that it is a beaver. And yes, his head is sewn crooked because he's looking to the side. And I am, I have another one in the works, but of course, got sidetracked. Um, I'm going to make him a girlfriend. So she'll have like a little dress on and the bow will be on her head. So he is, I turned his head sideways so he'll be looking at his girlfriend. Then I have... Axolotl. Isn't she cute? I love her. So this is from, this is a company I've followed for years. Um, it's 3AM Grace. She's got some cat hair on her head. But she puts out all these patterns that are like these ragdoll type patterns. I love her patterns. This is another one from the first three that I showed you. Now I got cat hair on my nose. So it is a little otter and I made him in the self-striping rainbow yarn. I love it. The only color that's missing on him is yellow. So he's got almost all the colors on him, but isn't he cute? He's so cute. Then this is another one from that same, it's um, around the pond is what the the name of the crochet along was. So this, this was the first guy. So this is the retro stripe that I used for her. But this is all the colors, except for the blue. Well, there's a little bit of blue on his collar, but yeah, he looks a little stoned. It's the first time I've ever done anything like this, so I will definitely um, make another one. But isn't he cool? I just love him. He's so cool with wings and he's got his little antennas. Even though he looks stoned. He's still pretty dang cute, I think. Next is a platypus. Yes, I made a platypus. We, Emily and I have um, a friend from Girl Scouts and she is obsessed 
with platypus and oxalotl. So I originally made those for her. And then uh, we were, I think that was, is that when we were sick? I can't remember, but we didn't get to go to her party. So I haven't seen her yet. So I still have her presents. Then I made a little heart. Cat hair everywhere. <laughs> a heart snail. Cute little heart. Look, I gave her eyelashes too. I bought segmented eyelashes at Dollar Tree and I glue them on some of my toys. I need to give the nymph, she needs some eyelashes because she looks a little It's a fried egg. <laughs> Isn't he cute? He's so cute. So this is another one from 3M Grace. 3AM Grace. I don't know if it's 3AM or 3AM. I don't know, but it's super cute. So this is another one of the rag dolls from a couple months ago. I have a bright stripe B. So this is another one of those self-striping yarns that I love. This one, oh, it's stuffing coming through. There's little tiny wings. I gave him a little stinger. Then I have a Christmas snail. He has a reindeer antler headband on, and his shell is a little Christmas ornament. I love this lady. She's got a whole bunch of snails. I think that there's like four or five of them that I haven't made yet. <laughs> I made a Grogu bee, so he is Grogu colors, but he is a bee. This is the, I think this is called Polo Stripe yarn, these little wings. These are super, super fun to make, as you can tell, I've made so many of them. I rarely will do a pattern more than once, but these bees, I just love. They are so much fun. So here is the Retro Stripe yarn again. This is like the unicorn yarn. If you ever find Retro Stripe in your store and you are a yarn person, you'll know what I mean. I love that stuff so much. This is an owl, little baby owl. Look at those eyes. Aren't those eyes cool? I found those on Amazon. And now we have some toidles with fancy little shells that and that one good job Allie and then we have just a heart and this is a set I need to finish where did you come from why can't I pick it up it's a little tassel and then it's baby Jesus gnome it's a baby Jesus gnome I have Mary and Joseph, baby Jesus, and then there's the three wise men that have all the patterns for that I need to um, get them made before Christmas comes around. But isn't that cute? What is a little manger? <laughs> it's so fun. So those are my toys that I've been making. I have uh, quite a few others that are in the works or that have already made it to Emily's room and I'll never see them again. But I have so much fun with these. And um, yeah, so the crochet along I'm doing now is, what is it? What's it called? Space. Space cow. So I've got um, a spaceship started and an alien started. And then today, um, the new pattern came out, and it's another alien. So they are going to be lots of fun to finish. My little crew back over here, where they go. I need a bigger basket, you think? Aren't they fun? I love them so much. I have so much fun doing this. It's so much more fun than just a blanket. Plus, they go a lot quicker. So anyway. That's it. I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.